Hi everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to start my series of wedding nail tutorials. I'm going to start off with a really easy one. Um, I have a very short week this week. I've got a three day week. We've had Easter here as has everybody else, but we also have Anzac Day this Friday. So I'm going to try and cram in a few videos today, tomorrow and Thursday. I think it's Tuesday today. Here it is. Um, and sorry, I'm a bit thrown by the whole thing. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing a series of them. I'm going to be doing some lead light videos. Um, what else am I going to be doing? The ads, tech ones. There's a few coming up. I've got a list. So if you do want me to do a video on something specific using shellac or another brand of gel polish, please leave it in the comments below and I will endeavour to get to it. I'll add it to my list. And OK, so let's get started. So what I'm using today to create this, this nail which you saw previously, I have got my business card out of the way. I've got a Puin number 26, this stamp is, and I'm you don't want to see in my head, I'm using this image here. So I'm using something that's sort of lacy looking almost sort of filigree. So if it's for a wedding, obviously you'd use a similar sort of stamp, unless you want fairly full on nails. I'm using some Lish um fine shimmers glitter in sugar rush which is just a very very subtle shimmery white i'm using the andrea gel polish professional gel polish and i'm using sorry you didn't see that at all there 219 so i'm using that that which is sort of a very nice well this is the, the what i'm using in the background here so it's it's a sort of pearly white se no place like chrome for my stamping and you will need some top coat and i use shellac with my andrea and okay, so let's get started. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I've already done two coats of the Andrea on my nail, on my Colourpop. Now, they come in bags of 50, these things. I should just mention that. I get them in bags like this. I get them from eBay. They're about $3 a bag. Very, very good value, as opposed to some of the supply shops that sell them for $20 or $30 a bag. So do your research, have a look, get them cheap. Okay, and so two colours uh, sorry, two coats of the 219 Andrea Professional Gel Polish. And I'm getting my Lish um, Glitter. And now you can put this all over the nail, but I'm going to do it over half a nail. I had similar nails on the other day um, in a peach colour. So I'm going to basically create the same effect with a different stamp. So I'm going to press the glitter into the nail. And I'm going to go up diagonally. And I will zoom in on this a sec once I've just put the glitter on because I know it's a bit far away, but you'll get the general idea. So I'm not putting it all over the nail. So just pressing it in, I'm holding it over the pot so that I collect any excess. And then once it's done, just brush to remove any sticky uppy bits because you know what glitter's like. The finer, the finer the glitter you use with the gel polish, the better. Or you need to do a few top coats to get rid of any roughness. So once you've done that, you need to do your top coat okay so I'm just going in with my top coat now I have a top coat for glitter and I have a top coat for pigments and I mark each bottle so that you don't have glitter in your when you have a client that wants just plain shellac you don't have glitter all over their nails it's nothing worse so I'm just trying to this is on its last leg so I'm just tipping it up to get the rest out of it so I'm just doing one coat and then I'm going to stamp on top of that so once your coat is on and it doesn't matter if you get a little bit of glitter up at the top it's quite a nice effect so once your top coat is on just make sure it's covered thoroughly and pop it in the lamp for two minutes okay guys so this has been in the lamp for two minutes and i've removed the inhibition layer and as you can see it really is subtle the andrea gel polish is just lovely it's just a really 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 subtle sort of off-white I guess pearly colour, but it's not a shimmery. It's not a shimmery pearl. It's just a nice, just a beautiful sort of off white. Um, and we're going to go ahead and stamp now. But I just wanted to tell you about my stamper because I get asked this all the time, and it comes up in my nail group too. Now, um, this is around three dollars, and it's from eBay. Now I know that there are plenty of suppliers that sell these, as in Facebook, Facebook nail tech suppliers, that sort of thing, but they are exactly the same as the ones you get on eBay, and I know this because I bought one. The only thing with the one I bought, I paid about $15 for it, and the stamp falls out, the squishy bit falls out every time, so I was really disappointed. So I've been sticking to the ones that I get from eBay because it's cheaper and they work fine. 
Okay, so that said, let's get started stamping. Okay, so I'm going in with my polish now on my stamping plate. So I'm just going to pop a nice healthy coat of Essie No Place Like Chrome on my image. Get my scraper. Scrape it off. Pop it on my stamper. So it's got most of the image, but sorry guys, that's a bit blurry. I only need part of that, so I'm actually going to go in and... You actually need to see what I'm doing. Picking from the corner, rolling it on. And now this is a, a little trick. See how if I turn that sideways, see how there's some little sticky uppy bits that where the image has lifted a bit. You can just go in with an orange wood stick and just very lightly you can probably actually get rid of that. I think that's an excess bit. Oh no, it's supposed to be. Mm, it's supposed to be a curl, but for the sake of the video, we'll just pull that off. Normally, I would just press down like that, and it would just there you go. Okay, so there was a little bit of excess. So if there's any excess polish at the sides, just press them down, or use your orange wood stick just to scrape them away. So that's your image that you're left with, and I'm just going to top coat that and probably hey guys so this is the finished nail i've taken it out of the lamp and i've wiped the univision layer and as you can see it's a very subtle design you could do this oh you could do this over the whole nail um obviously these color pops are huge so i've done it on a sort of an angle just to show you something a bit different and as you can tell by the mess in the background i'm having one of those days where the stamp just wouldn't pick up so it took, actually took me about five goes to get the image on the stamp but we got there eventually okay guys so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And any comments, leave them in the description bar. Now, the next wedding videos I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing two that would go together. The first one is a little tuxedo, and the second one is going to be a little wedding dress with some very, very tiny um, little gems around the neckline. So stay tuned for those. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.